My name is P. Frank Williams. I'm originally from Oakland, California. I've been producing television film um, for about 16 years now. Most of the mid 90s to the late 90s, um, I was a journalist at the source, and that's how people know me because I've covered a lot of the biggest hip hop stories, the death of Tupac, Suge in jail, and stuff like that. I tell stories, whether it's on a written piece of paper or with a video camera. Just like when writing a story, I'm trying to elicit an emotion, whether it be sympathy, joy, pain, you know, hopefully, content can move you in some type of a way. I think it's never been a better time to be a producer of content, especially about African Americans, because the digital age has really transformed and revolutionized um, being able to put content out to the world. People are thirsty for uh, black entertainment, you know, and I think a lot of African Americans are getting chances behind the camera and in front of the camera. It's important for, you know, young black filmmakers to tell your own stories. You can't wait for somebody else to do that. And as John Singleton told me one time, you know, if you're waiting for somebody else to tell it, it's never going to happen for you. That's why he wrote Boys in the Hood, because nobody was telling that story. As long as you're telling your authentic story, I think that's what's most important. I'm inspired by art. I'm inspired by music. I'm inspired by the sights around me. You know, I could be on the subway and hear something or see somebody. You know, I'm, I'm inspired by the world and the environment around me. So even though I watch people and I love directors and certain people have a great eye, to me it's the people and the world and the universe that I exist that inspire me the most. The people in my campaign call without words, I chose a painter. A painter speaks through his brush. A dancer speaks through them that rhythms that they kind of bring you from Africa. There's another guy who uses clothes to tell a story. One of the other women in the piece, she talks about what we say through our hair. Our culture drives the world. Black people, we say so much, even if we don't say one word. I think change agents are people who not necessarily um, are right on television on MSNBC or TV One every day. A lot of the people are behind the scenes. If you know anything about the civil rights movement, the people who really moved the needle were the students, the moms in the churches, the men and women who gave money out of their little checks to make it happen. So um, black history change in the making is all of those unheralded heroes who I think are doing fantastic things today.